Alrighty, uh, today uh, I'm coming to you with a video on how to uh, get crimson and blue charms at a fairly decent rate with, while uh, getting great melee experience. Uh, I recommend using uh, magic if you have the magic level, but uh, melee works just as good. First thing to start out, <clears throat> you're going to go down to uh, Alcard, Alcarid, however you say it. Alrighty, once you're down in Al Karid, you're gonna go make your way down to the desert. If you have a desert teleport, just use that. I do not, because I'm not a quester. Do not have the time for that. Recommend bringing uh, some sort of food, not the best type of food. Don't be coming down here with no rock tail or anything like that. I just recommend coming down here with uh, some monkfish, some swordfish, something like that. If you're high level, if you're a uh, middle 100s, I recommend bring some shark. Great XP, and as you notice, I have um, 89 summoning. And, um, yeah, I got most of the charms down here. While I uh, rank up uh, my strength, got it up to 99 down here as well. You're going to travel to north. Paul of a niche. Maybe this dude. All right, I'm going to come back to you. Uh, when I get there, all right, I'm back after that carpet ride. Once you get to North Pole of a Niche, you uh, miss my unicorn. Gonna make your way through the city. You don't need any water skins. You're gonna be out in the desert for just a little bit. I'll just recommend a summoning creature and uh, some food that's about it you can bring pots but uh, they're not like they're needed you get hit once or twice with uh, dehydration but that's nothing to worry about And just follow the river and pass right by the pyramid. It's quite the journey, but uh, it's all worth it if you stay out here for a while. Here's the cow fight entrance. You're going to go right in here. You don't need any rope or anything like a cow fight queen entrance. Sewn up your titan. Summoning creature, whatever you uh, brought, they are aggressive, so they will attack you the second you come down here. I don't recommend keeping on a retaliate on, because you get multiple on you at once. They're level 98. They shouldn't hit you hard at all if you have decent armor. I just have bandos on, it's not even that good. And see, already blue charm coins. If you have 60 smithing, you can break down this chitin, chitin, whatever it's called. And uh, they're worth decent, but I don't recommend filling up an inventory with them. Like some of them, some of these things actually give decent drops, which actually be uh, a quite slow, but a pretty profitable, profitable way to make money while getting charms. As you see, I have like 10 of them on me at once. So I recommend having an, a summoning creature with you to help you out. Got a green charm. So green charms are in there every once in a while, but they're mostly uh, reds and blues. But they almost drop a charm every single time, is what I like about it. Even if it's a green charm, gold charm, whatever type of charm it is, they usually drop one every single time. The only times you usually don't drop them, as you can see, is when uh, it drops potions. It's like super strength, super defense, 
all that gold charm. I don't even know if I'm going to be collecting those. And uh, they'll just keep getting on you. Like, and um, as you can see up top, I'm uh, gaining, I believe that's at 870 experience per, which is pretty good, especially if you have uh, double XP, something like that. The lady dimes uh pretty expensive. Sometimes I snag that. But uh wow. Slow on charms, let me tell you what. This is rare, I can guarantee you're gonna get a lot more than I do, uh if you come on down here. But I've only been doing this for about a minute and a charm per minute is decent. You get a rune full home. It's decent money, it's decent charms. Probably one of the higher charm rates in the game. I'm just uh, I'm getting unlucky right through here. Should get some drops here soon. Blue charm, there we go. Let's see if we can get two or three in a row. I've been able to get like 50, 60, even up to 100 on some inventories down here. It all depends on another blue charm. It all just all depends on how lucky I'm getting with drops. And uh, how good my specs are doing. So I just go around spec one hitting them with the spec. And uh, doesn't take uh, much time. Another blue charm. Coming down. That's uh, three, four in a row. Something like that. Starting to get beat up. Alrighty, this is uh, killing exiled Catfight guardians to get uh, decent drops of red charms, blue charms, and sometimes green charms. Hope uh, you enjoyed the video and it's going to help you uh, get up your summoning levels. If uh, you're thinking about summoning, I'd uh, take it. Uh, go for it. Might be a little expensive, might take some of your time, but it is completely worth it. As of right now, I got the Geyser Titan. Only the level 89. I plan on getting up to Steel Titan, getting a 99. It's one of the 99s I wish to get in the near future. Because I believe the Steel Titan is just absolutely beyond good. Alrighty, thanks for watching.